everyone, my name is Ariel, and today I'm going to be talking about how to activate or turn on the new AI Studio in CLO 2025.1. If you have updated to 2025.1, you may have noticed that a lot of the AI features, the buttons, have been grayed out, or all of the AI features have been moved into the AI Studio. In the upper right-hand corner, this pink button here next to the new location of the CLO library. In order to activate this button, which will activate all the studio features, you first need to log into your Clo account at clo3d.com. So let's go ahead and jump over there, shall we? All right, everyone. Now that we're at clo3d.com, you can log in just like you would normally do through the Clo set link. Once you're logged in, you can head to the upper right hand corner, which is going to take you to your account page. Once you're at your account page, at the left hand side, as you come down with your cursor, you're going to notice there is a new option here called the AI Studio plugin. Click on this plugin, which is going to take you to the plugin page. To activate all these features, you can click the edit button in the right hand corner. And this will allow you to toggle on or off these different features. Once you've toggled on as many or as few as you would like, the AI Texture Generator, AI Graphic Generator, AI Render Enhancer, AI Pose Generator, and Pattern Drafter, you can click the Save button. And after you click the Save button, all you need to do is relaunch Clo. If we head back over into Clo, this button will now be activated, as well as all the other AI buttons across the Clo platform, as long as you have turned those features on at Clo3D.com. And you're going to see there is a home page. This is where we have our texture generator, graphic generator, as well as the AI render enhancer. I hope you guys find this video helpful and useful. Stay tuned for further deep dives into all the newest 2025.1 features with Phoebe. Uh, happy clowing and see you soon.